What is up, guys? Nathan, that album reviewer guy here with another, another one. Yes, another one. Another album review. We got Fuel's Puppet Strings, and this album just came out a few days ago on the fourth. And I cannot tell you how much I was looking forward to this album. I love Fuel. I'm not gonna lie. I like Fuel with Brett Scallions. I like Fuel with, um, trying to blank on his name though, Tor Torin Green or something like that. He sings for Emphatic now, but when he was in Fuel for that one album they did, which has like one of my favorite Fuel songs on it, Wasted Time. But anyway, Fuel, this is uh, Puppet Strings. This is Fuel's uh, fifth album, I think, and it is their first album to feature Brett Scallions, the original lead singer of Fuel, since their 2003 album, Natural Selection. And it's also the first album not to feature guitarist Car Carl Bell and bassist Jeff Abercrombie. So, in other words, the only original member of Fuel who is on this album is Brett Scallions, making his return to the band. And that's not terrible, I mean, you know. Fuel is fuel. I mean, yeah, Brett Scallion's back. I mean, even though the rest of the original band isn't on the album, you got Brett Scallion's. I mean, come on. But, let me try and get this in one spot here. It keeps moving. Okay. Okay, uh, album opens with a very energetic track entitled Yeah, yeah. but that was the first album, album, first single off the album, which was really released as a teaser for the album. I don't think it got any radio play, but I could be wrong about that. And then that goes into a song that was released on, that was released as a single on the album that did get radio play, and that song is called Soul to Preach To. Very, very good song. Yeah, it's good too. Yeah, it's good too. And then you get on to the third track in the album, Hey Mama, which has a bit of a country feel to it. And the later track in the album, Puppet Strings, also has a country feel. Not that, well, it's not completely country, but it has like a country-ish feel to it. Country-ish. Not completely though, like the intros and stuff, but not the whole song. Um, then you get all the way down to Headache, it has a heavy intro, which leads to more subtle verse, but heavier instrumentals come after that in the chorus and in between verses and stuff. Then you get into the final track, What We Can Never Have, and it's a great song in the album with, it's like one of the most emotional songs on the album, if not the most emotional. I did skip through a few tracks, like a lot of them. So I think I'll go back and talk about them as well as I can. Time for me to stop. Good one. Wander. Yeah, it's a sort of slowish track, as is the one right after a cold summer. But they're not entirely slow. They're not like what we can never have. I can see the sun. alright. I already talked about puppet strings, headache, and what we can never have. But my goodness, Fuel is back. Fuel is back. This album does feature classic Fuel, a classic Fuel sound, as well as some new stuff incorporated in their sound. And that's good. That is good for Fuel. Even though Brett Scallions is the only original member of Fuel still in the band, you know, Fuel is back, everybody. Fuel is back. And I really can't wait to see what they're doing next. They're going to be playing in my area soon. Probably won't be able to get to see them, but it would be cool if I could. But anyway, uh, I do have a few favorites. No least favorites, though, but I do have a few favorites off this track. Track. God damn it. Album. And those favorites are 
the singles Yeah and Soul to Preach to, as well as Time for Me to Stop, Headache, and What We Can Never Have. And overall, I'm going to give Puppet Strings by Fuel an 8.5 out of 10. I think that's the highest rating I've ever given an album yet. Fuel is back. Fuel is back. It's not quite a 9, because... It was a good album, but it wasn't that good. And it's higher than an 8 because it was better than that. 8.5. And that's about all I have to say about Fuel and Puppet Strings. What do you guys think of the album? Did you like Fuel's album Angels and Devils with Torin Green, I think his name is? He sings for Emphatic now. So, yeah. Uh, are you glad that Brett Scallions is back? Are you sad that he's the only mem original member still in Fuel? Let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. That album reviewer guy. Signing off. Bruh.